probably be good if I did that. <laughs> Hi guys. So, um, basically this video is going to be for any vegan or vegetarian that's kind of new and um, is getting a lot of questions from people because you will get questions. Um, I've gotten questions um, and I'll even give you tips on how to answer it. Uh, let's first start off with the tips on how to answer. Um, no matter how annoying and how many times the questions have been said, um, do try to keep your patience level at a you know good amount. Um, I know my grandma, what she does is whenever we're going out to eat, she'll turn to me and she'll say, can you get something there? Because I'm vegan and she knows I'm vegan. And every once in a while I'm like, seriously, we've been here like eight times. I'm pretty sure I found something by now. Um, but, you know, she's a little older, so I do say, yeah, I can, or no, not really, or I'll figure something out, you know. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't import my family to every single person that is vegan and let them have that family. Because my family is very patient and understanding and willing to try things. Um, and unfortunately, not all families are like that. Excuse me. I wish I could. I wish you guys could have my parents because they are really cool about it. Um, my mom is really sweet about it. My dad's really cool about it. My grandma, she's a little curious, but you know, she's she's pretty cool about it. But I I think the main thing is try to be as nice and as patient as possible. Um, but if it gets to be too much, where to the they're to the point of bullying. That's when you should start putting your foot down and say, hey, this is what I'm saying. I'm not trying to force you into eating this, you know, or anything like that. And that's another thing. Don't really try to force them into trying it. Um, someone say, oh, you know, go ahead. They should learn about veganism, things like that. I understand that. But the more you push, the more, the more they're going to push back. And it's going to get really bad. Um, I have a friend. He is a full-blown meat eater, I'm vegan, and he, whenever he comes over to stay overnight, uh, generally I'm always making dinner, so he'll come in every once in a while while making dinner and be like, what you making, you know, what are you doing, you know, things like that, and he'll kind of see what I'm making, kind of curious on how I'll make it and things like that, and he, every single meal I've made while he's here, he has tried it. Uh, the pizza, the vegan pizza he liked, he said it was okay, it was pretty good. Um, he said definitely the mozzarella cheese, the way it looked when I was preparing the pizza kind of deterred him from it. He said if he had not seen um, how I made it, it he would probably eaten a little more. Um, the other ones, the two types of chili and then the stew he both had and he said they were okay, but just not his cup of tea. And for me, I said fine. That's that's fine by me. I did not get all preachy. I did not say, well, veganism is better for you and blah, blah, blah. That's his choice on what he's going to eat. It's my choice that I went vegan. It's his choice that he's not going vegan. So, yeah. Um, Basically, to what you're going to hear. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This There's going to be a lot of these. Um, the main ones, what do you eat? Well, you can answer that and what you eat. Um, for myself, if someone says what you eat, I say, I eat tofu, I eat sain, I eat salad, I eat beans, I eat um, curry, I eat pretty much generally anything a meat eater eats without the animal products. Um, that's the best way to shorten it, is I eat anything a meat eater eats but without animal products. Then they'll say, well, where do you get your protein? You can get protein, tons of protein, from tofu, beans. And it goes like this. Uh, Tell me about it, talking loud, no, you. Uh, kiss me to ah, your... Sorry, as I was saying, um, you can get protein from tofu, from beans, um, just things like that. You can get a lot of protein from there. Um, it's just, it's really good. <sighs> Sorry, my grandma called. That's why the video had to cut short. But I'm back.
Yay, I'm back! Um, so the next thing you might hear is, sorry, is that would be a really good diet. And in a way, they are right. Yes. To some vegans, they're like, no, they're not right. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. It's a life change. Which, <sighs> they are technically right. You can lose weight if you are overweight or average or whatever. You can and will lose weight. I am a living testament to losing weight. I have lost seven pounds in like a week and a half. So, I mean, to me, given the fact that usually the healthy way to lose weight is two pounds a week, that's even better. So, yeah. I mean, I've lost seven pounds in a week and a half. Yes, it is a good diet, but it should not be used just for dieting, and then as soon as they get to their target weight, they get off the vegan diet. That's where they're wrong. They are right in saying that it can help you lose weight and it can be technically a good diet. They are wrong in saying that it can be used as a diet, using it as a diet, and then getting off the diet when they got their target weight. Whew. <laughs> Had to clarify that. Um, a lot of will say, well, animals are here for us to eat, or these things called canines, you know, they're here for us to eat meat, and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Tell them, fine. If you want to use your canines for eating meat, use it. I would rather eat veggies and things like that. Hi. This is Kakashi. She likes my tofu. She is a tofu nut. I, I can't even get the stuff out of the package and she's already got her face head first in it. Yes, I'm talking about you. She likes it. She's obsessed. Um, I saw another video that was a compilation of three videos of what meat eaters say to vegans. And one was saying, well, if you feed meat to your animals, you're a hypocrite. Some can say that to me. And I will say right back, I'm not the one who controls what my cats and dogs eat. Because I don't. I don't decide. If I could, I would give them vegan food. Do I offer them vegan food when I have the chance? I do. Do I sometimes not even get the chance to offer them because they steal it from my bowl? Yes. Yes. But, duh. And then there's other ones like, well, you eat fish, right? Or you eat chicken, right? Or you eat eggs. Fish come from animals. Chicken come from animals. Eggs come from animals. Therefore, we do not eat them. Don't eat them. Those are out of there. Just because it's not red meat does not mean it's not an animal. It is an animal. And they'll say... Plants have feelings too. Plants can feel pain. Animals can feel pain. Blah blah bull crap on the animals can't feel pain. Um, plants do not have a nervous system, so they can't feel pain. And last time I checked, no plant ever has ever told me they're depressed. So until that happens, I'm eating my veggies. Thank you. <laughs> Whew, getting a little fired up here. Oops. So then, I'm trying to think of all the things. Because I've never really had these said to me. So I'm like having to remember from the shit vegans say or the shit people say to vegans or whatever. And I'm trying to remember. <laughs> but, um, I think that was essentially about it. Or, oh, here's one. Um, I have to eat meat for my health. Or my doctor says I have to eat meat. Oh my god. <laughs> That's all I can say in response to that one. <sighs> oh my god. It gets to the point where you basically say, you know what? You eat your meat, I'll eat my vegan stuff, and there we go. And I wish it would be that easy. It's just, you just say, you know what? If you want to eat... Ow. Your meat, I'll eat my vegan stuff. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> Pretty much. But there's some that just... Mm, I don't know. I'm getting distracted now. So, 
yeah, basically, um, I hope that helps people in answering the questions. And that was my main goal, was to help people with answering the questions that you'll commonly get when you say that you are vegan. You know, what do you eat? You still eat eggs and stuff like that. Where do you get your protein? Um, are you, why are you so pale looking or whatever? Yes, yeah, some people link that with, because they, they assume that vegans are sickly because they don't get protein, which they do. So, yes. I'm pale because I stay inside most of the time. And because it's winter. There's my answer. <laughs> I'm on Tumblr. Leave me alone. I'm on Tumblr, therefore I'm immediately pale. Just say it like that. So anyway, speaking of Tumblr, if you want to follow my Tumblr blog, I'm looking like this because I'm so tired of the glare in the lenses. If you want to follow me on Tumblr, it is whosyourveganking.tumblr.com. I will add the link down here where my chesticles are. And if you ever need to IM me for anything, I will also leave that there near the chesticle area. And that's pretty much it. See you later, guys. I don't speak German, but I can if you like. Ich liebe auch zu be clear. Ich glaube, ich mag